All right, I thought I would just make a quick little video. I'm getting messages from all over the planet, it seems. Uh, we are growing by leaps and bounds. Uh, a couple months ago, two, three months ago, about three months ago, we were hovering at around 900 subs. And I think I had made probably about 380 videos up until that time or something like that. And and it's just, it's kind of interesting to see the evolution of this channel. And I owe it to you guys that like watching uh, my videos. They like watching the long format with the closed caption. Uh, that's kind of an interesting thing in itself. I guess people, when they're waiting at the dentist or whatever, they like they like reading the closed caption. I just, I never thought about that when I'm making my videos. Uh, but I, I appreciate everybody that takes the time to watch my stuff. And I try to go deep and I try to thoroughly um, explain my thoughts and all that. That's why my videos sometimes take like an hour. Uh, but I appreciate you guys. And then also, yeah, continue to let me know where you are uh, watching these videos. I'm always kind of curious as to what state. We have some people from Illinois, from Connecticut, a lot of people that watch uh, Watchman River, Tom Coat, uh, watch my videos as well. And I pretty much make a video every single morning. Uh, I try and upload it before I take off to work because I drive a truck. I can't just sit in one place and make a video and then be done for the day. I do have a job and this is part of my job is I drive a truck. So I just wanted to let you hear this engine roar. Look at this. driving a Ford 450 so yeah so if you are a truck driver out there and you're watching or listening to my videos as you drive let me know that in the comments as well I think us truck drivers have to stick together um yeah especially in Canada <laughs> uh yeah so I just wanted to make a quick video just letting you guys know that hey um this Sunday I'm actually I got invited to go preach for the first time uh, in a church so that's that's kind of cool I don't know if it's going to be recorded or anything like that uh, but if it is recorded I will for sure let you guys know and upload it here so you can see the difference between just hitting play on a video and hitting record versus preaching in front of people I don't know how many people are there I think there's about 20,000 people or something kidding kidding probably like 20 or 30 people or something it's just a small little tiny church uh, but uh, my pastor asked uh, if if I want to share so I said sure why not why not how hard can it be to stand in front of people when you've been recording videos and getting lambasted for the last year and a half on YouTube it might be nice to be in front of people where they're not messaging you right away or holding up signs saying Hey, I don't agree with you or yelling or saying that you're not a Christian or that you hate Jesus or all, you, you have all these signs and symbols of the devil and all this kind of stuff. And maybe it's kind of nice to be in front of people for a change. So anyways, I'll keep you posted on that. I'll keep you updated. Uh, feel free to pray for me. Keep me in your prayers over the weekend um, because, yeah, uh, I just have to think about what I'm going to share um the first thing that pops out of my head is it has to be has to be about the gospel of jesus christ and what he did on the cross so that's that's kind of the what i'm thinking about sharing about and basically i'll just share a little bit of my testimony about how my wife actually helped change my life by praying for me just a simple prayer she just said lord i pray that my husband will get a hunger for your word not knowing that what she was getting herself into and then i uh i just started reading the bible and uh i was reading the book of romans and for some reason i decided to switch to a king james bible nobody told me anything in my head i was like i'm not I'm not a King James Bible person. I don't like these thou's and all this kind of stuff. But 
I felt like it kind of called out to me. I know it sounds weird. It was on my bookshelf. So I dusted it off, blew all the dust off of it, and then began reading it. And I read the book of Romans every day for like 30 days in a row. And a light switch came on. Bam. I suddenly, even though I've been a Christian for years, I realized, I, 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 I grasped the idea of what Jesus Christ did for me. And it just, all of a sudden, the light came on. And that's how I read the scriptures now. That's how I read it. I, I, read, it from the pers I read it from the perspective that God loves me enough that he gave his only begotten son for us. And I am so appreciative of that. And I remember my son used to give me my Bible and he'd blow the dust off of it and hand it to me and say, Dad, you should read if you're a Christian, you should really read the Bible. And I would read maybe two minutes a day, chapter a day, maybe once in a while, like Proverbs. Try and get through Proverbs in a month. Or I would read a verse, verse of the day. Those are popular. And then uh, I would just never get through the Bible. I would, I would get to maybe Leviticus halfway through. Then once they start talking about the tabernacle... I'm out of here, baby. Let's go to Acts. Let's go where the, all the action is. And then I'll skip over, maybe go to the Gospels. And then back to Proverbs and Ecclesiastes and that kind of stuff. That's kind of, that was kind of my routine for like 30 years. I would do that. Never, never get through the Bible. And then once I switched over to the King James Version, man, I can't stop reading it. And I read it 10 times in the last year and a half. So that's an interesting study. Why is that? What happened? Where all of a sudden the Bible is all consuming. Where you can switch versions and all of a sudden you can't put it down. And I'm a truck driver. I shouldn't be reading the Bible this much because I should be just... I don't know. Not to say the truck drivers are, are, are silly or whatever, but it's just... I'm uneducated is what I'm trying to say. I'm not learned. I'm not learned. <laughs> like Homer Simpson would say uh, to uh, Bart. I think he said this in one episode he went. Um, oh, Lisa said to, to Bart, Bart, you're very learned. And then Homer chimes in and goes, Lisa, that's learned. Learned. So, I'm not very learned. <laughs> I just love reading the Bible. I guess I'm a little bit like Tom Coat, where I'm just uh, just a guy that loves the Lord, loves reading the Bible, loves sharing about my faith, and uh, yeah, this this channel is growing by leaps and bounds. So thanks a lot, guys. I got to get back to work. See you later. Bye.